Hi Virgo, I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays and this is going to be your 2019 tarot reading. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to do two parts. The first part is going to be first uh, half of the year and the second one obviously the second part of the year. So uh, I mean the second uh, half of the year. So let's jump right into it. I'm not using reversals for this because I just don't want to. Virgo. Uh, the first half of the year of 2019, what can they expect? Nice. Ooh, nice, guys. Okay, what about the second half of the year? Here we go. Not bad. So I do have Ten of Swords as the overall energy. So we all have struggles that we uh, take from one year to the next, right? It's always something that we have to deal with. We all have those issues. Now, Ten of Swords could mean that one of those issues that you have in your life, that you've had for years maybe, or for the past year, could subside in 2019, finally. Okay, okay so th okay, what? What did I say? So things are going to be much easier in 2019 here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups is emotional stability that you're going to have. Um, so let's jump right into it. The first half of the year looks like you could be dealing with authorities a lot and in a way where those authorities could help you either move up uh, or to change your status or uh, to become a part of an institution, a part of a company maybe, uh, to upgrade in a way. Now the first card I have here is King of Swords and King of Swords is uh, could be medical, you know, could be legal, maybe a lawyer that you're dealing with, maybe a doctor that you're dealing with. Okay, this could also be an air sign, of course, that's in your life. Um, that's going to be very significant. I do believe it would be a male. Okay, um, this could be either the energy of uh, legal stuff, medical, or somebody in your circle that's going to be significant. So why is King of Swords here? This could be a very clear mind, okay? Sometimes it does talk about you thinking very logically, rationally, uh, not really mm, letting your heart rule, more like your head. But I did clarify it with Three of Swords. So guys... There could be, you know, somebody in your life that's way too harsh on you. Um, King of Swords is a little harsh. It's not somebody that's going to uh, be very compassionate towards you. You know, it's like a strict dad. Um, it's somebody that doesn't really understand how you feel. They just want you to do everything by the book. Uh, a boss as well, okay? So with Three of Swords here, there is some kind of negative energy surrounding this person. And maybe this is something that's going to finally end in 2019. Maybe your relationship with this person, maybe something regarding doctors that you're not satisfied with, maybe a legal situation that's been really hard on you. Something is ending, so just keep that in mind. But as you're dealing with it, and you will still be dealing with it in the beginning of the year, it's not just going to be one of the best experiences, but it's still going to be something that will come to an end eventually. Now, it gets better towards spring, I want to say, three or once, something coming towards you. I don't know what it is. You know, this could be a letter, this could be some information, a job, a person that's coming to you, sometimes from afar. Uh, this could be uh, you expecting something, maybe you traveling somewhere, or somebody's traveling to you. So why is three or ones here? Ooh, the sun. This is something incredibly positive, very joyful, something that you're excited to have, something that maybe, or somebody that you're excited to meet. Uh, the sun is the light at the end of the tunnel. This could be help that's coming. This could be support that's coming. This could be um, your child bringing you something very positive, okay? Um, maybe some good news, I don't know. Uh, the sun is a card of joy. 
It's the most joyful, the most happy, the, you know, the happiest card in tarot, major arcana. So whatever this is that you're going to receive towards um, the beginning of spring, I want to say the end of winter is going to be something not only very significant, but also very joyful. You know, you're going to be happy receiving this thing, whatever this is. And I feel like this thing, whatever you receive, maybe some information, some letter, I don't know, is going to initiate some kind of uh, status change uh, in, you know, upper level. Uh, this could be you getting hired somewhere where maybe you've been dreaming about getting hired, but w working, right? But you uh, maybe didn't have all the facts. You couldn't. There could be some blockage in the past that wasn't letting you do that. Well, now it looks like you could. This could be maybe you getting married. You know, this is sometimes uh, from single to married, the status change from, um, I don't know, um, a resident to citizen, right? A status change, something like that. So this could be, again, you maybe being a part, being a member of a, a company, institution, something major, something that you've been wanting. Uh, or maybe this could be a status change. This could be an upgrade. This could be marriage. Okay. So why is the hierophant here? And nine of pentacles. So uh, this is so similar to one of the spreads I've done. So nine of pentacles is a card of independence, freedom. Uh, this is when you can finally enjoy the financial rewards, the rewards of your labor, your hard work. So whatever you've been dealing with for many years or maybe many months, it's finally going to pay off. Okay, maybe you've been trying to get into this company that you've been wanting to work for and you didn't really have any success doing so. Now you will. You know, Nine of Pentacles makes you feel so good and independent and, you know, like a badass almost. Like This could be the energy towards, um, I believe, spring, summertime, maybe the beginning of summer that you're going to experience where you're going to be very self-confident and uh, just because something is going to improve something that is is going to upgrade you're going to feel like you're on the higher level okay whether it's your work whether it's your relationships whatever this is in your life uh maybe i don't know i i do mention immigration a lot because um a lot of people are dealing with that you know from my knowledge could be something regarding immigration that's going to be very positive for you, that's going to uh, let you uh, get on the right path. Now, the second half of the year also looks very interesting. It looks like it will be a lot of fortunate events happening and there will be more people that will be experiencing this with you, not just you on your own. So <clears throat> you do have Wheel of Fortune, it's the first card. So it's almost like the, um, the chest is open. I don't know, like, you know, the uh, something opens up in front of you. Uh, this could be, um, again, uh, a change of events in a very positive direction and direction. And you almost don't even have to do anything for those changes. They're just coming to you. They're just there. Uh, so why is Wheel of Fortune here? You know, sometimes we find ourselves in closed circles right we do everything the same way uh everything is the same it's a routine you know there is absolutely no for example we're working but there's no raise there's always the same income uh there's always the same fights <laughs> you know with the loved ones or something like that when wheel of fortune comes in it brings changes it brings new things into your life the cycle is broken and uh, the new uh venture is in front of you the new adventure i want to say i clarified it with the empress so not only that it's going to initiate changes possibly karmic changes maybe it could be a karmic year for you guys not only that it's going to initiate that it's also going to initiate you planting seeds towards a project job relationship something like that a lot of you maybe could be getting pregnant okay this is the fortunate events that could be happening in 2019 a lot of you could be getting more creative focusing more on yourself loving yourself pampering yourself uh, maybe being more attentive to children or wanting children or something having to do with children would be very significant okay uh, this could also be a start of something new. Uh, this Wheel of Fortune, once the new cycle 
begins a fortunate cycle it's going to let you grow it's going to bring you some kind of a new beginning very very positive now like i said it's not just going to be you uh dealing with this new beginning enjoying okay this new beginning but it's also going to be somebody else because with three of pentacles this is compromise this is other people working with you on the same page with you on your team okay so why is three of pentacles here this could be literally you going somewhere and asking for some kind of support and you would be getting that support you know whether it's from authorities or from friends uh loved ones you know family members whatever this could be somebody being on the same page and helping you now i do have two of pentacles here which could mm, talk about maybe you trying to do too many things at once once you get your fortune in 2019 be careful not to jump from one thing to another and grab onto too many things uh this needs to be a very gradual progress okay process this needs to be something uh, slow going you need to be focusing on one thing at once this is how you're going to achieve success with two of pentacles here there's either either hesitation to ask for help or maybe to get other people on the same boat with you or this could be maybe you trying to maintain too many things at once and this is why you almost like need help from other people because you simply cannot maintain them all on your own i don't think this is the best way to go about it you know, if it's something that's very important to you, if I were you, I would be doing one thing at, at once, you know, then move on to the next thing. So there could be that busy energy uh, towards the second half of the year. I want to say maybe summer. OK, uh, this could be the, uh, not summer. What am I talking about? A fall. This could be the energy of you trying to get everything done all at once. Um, however, at the same time, this could be just you being busy and you needing help from others to be able to do whatever you want to be doing. And I'm finishing up your spread with two of wands. This is the last card. Two of wands is looking out into the future and making more plans. Um, I feel like this year is preparing you for something. It could be upgrading your status. It could be getting on a higher level. And now you're going to have more plans. You've, you're going to achieve something in 2019 and it's going to be also the end of something negative in your life. But with that, new things come, new plans come, new ideas. And this is what you're going to be focused on towards the end. You're going to have so many more ideas, so many more ventures. You're going to be so much more excited for the future towards the end of 2019 than you are now. Okay, so why is still wants here? Ah, I grabbed two cards, but you know what? I'm going to use them. Seven of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles. Something regarding investing, investing into a project, into a relationship, work, you know, um, a lot of hard work. Uh, something regarding finances. You're going to be very, very, um, I want to say, um, focused on okay you're go this is going to be maybe your main focus towards uh the end of 2019 something regarding money maybe your own business maybe some kind of investments purchases you're going to have so many more plans um about that because it looks like this year is going to build a foundation for you it's going to give you an opportunity to uh, work better further you know um make your dreams come true and that's what you're going to be doing. You know, you're going to be using 2019 to prepare for um, a lot of your projects. Beautiful year, guys. I do not really see any negativity. In the beginning of the year, this is something that you are already dealing with, if it does resonate with you. So it's not a big deal, okay? It's not. Um, in fact, it's only going to get better, especially towards summer, summertime, beginning of summer, it's going to get really good. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.